please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before listening on. We can draw a picture to represent the situation that's being described. So here we have the artillery shell being fired at a 55 degree angle at 300 meters per second. It's going to kind of sail through the air and collide with the mountainside here. And the question is asking us to find the horizontal displacement as well as the vertical displacement of the shell during the 42 seconds of its flight. Now before we can begin to solve for that, what we need to do is to break the velocity into its x and y components. For the x component we can see that it is adjacent to the 55 degree angle, therefore we can use the cosine to find that x component, and specifically it will be 300 times the cosine of that 55 degree angle. The y component is opposite to the 55 degree angle, and so therefore we will be using the sine and it will become 300 times the sine of the 55 degree angle. Once we have the x and the y components of the velocity, we can actually remove the original resultant velocity vector that was shown. And now that the velocity is broken into its components, we can introduce a projectile motion table that will help us organize the information. The lovely picture of the mountain has been the initial velocity in the x direction was noted right here as 300 cos 55 and then in the y direction it was 300 sine 55. We'll next turn to the acceleration, which in the x direction is always zero in projectile motion questions, and in the y direction, because of the force of gravity, it will be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. The time was given to us as 42 seconds for both the x and y directions, and neither the displacement nor the final velocity are known, and we're gonna see if we can find the displacement without worrying about the final velocity by looking at our kinematics equations. And at this point, after browsing through these equations, you might wanna even pause the video and take a look at them. You wanna pick the equation that's going to allow you to solve for the displacement given the information that we know. And hopefully you'll notice that this equation will suit what we are setting out to do here. So we'll begin by calculating the displacement in the x direction by filling in the known values that we have accumulated in the x column of our table. Notice in the x direction that because the acceleration is zero, this whole block of numbers will cancel out. And when we crunch that down, we should get approximately 7,227 meters as the displacement in the horizontal or x direction. We will now turn to the y direction displacement. And we've plugged in all the known values from the y column of the chart. Notice that instead of calling it delta x, we're calling the displacement delta y, a minor change, but worth noting. And when you calculate that, you should get approximately 1,678 meters for the displacement in the y direction. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. You are also welcome to send in your own question to the email address displayed on your screen.